welcome back for another case study. So today we will be looking at uh, SQ. Uh, it's a technological company. So let me go to morning star and then I put SQ or you can put scrap. Company's name is Scrap. So we are going to open it in a separate tab. So like every other time, we will look a little bit on the finance and then we will go towards the economy and the risk of the company to conclude. Alright, let's move on. So basically, the company is almost $181 and the near, uh, higher price does not mean cheaper or expensive it's affordability so it could be cheap it could be expensive if you want to know whether it's undervalued or overvalued you can always go to my facebook page where i would have posted a report stating whether it is undervalued or overvalued and there are some rational in terms of determining whether it's overvalued or undervalued and if you want to know more you can always comment and ask me. So let's click on the key ratio. So I'm going to open the key ratio separately. Right. So we look a little bit on um, the company profile. Uh, Square has been founded in 2009. It is a very new company. So this is the uh, destructive innovation based company meaning to say this company has a high potential it is still in its infant uh, stage of a business so what do I mean by infant stage of a business means it is still not in sustaining so it is still growing it is something like a child going to become hmm, and what's an adult too so yeah, it is still in the early stage. So Square provides payment acquiring service to merchants. So uh, we can also say that Square is doing a fintech. Now they also are uh, in the innovation. And uh, yeah, so Square. Okay, so they are based in San Francisco, California. You know, I will be documenting some information, you know. A lot of this uh, attack based company or the infant based company, you see most of it is in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah, I know, you relate the coincidence. So, all right, and has also uh, launched a cash app, a person-to-person -person payment network. Hmm. This seems to be interesting. Let's, if we, will let, we will know more once we start looking into the annual reports. Okay, Square has an operation in Canada, Japan, Australia, and the UK. So they are covering the United States, Canada, Australia, and Europe. <coughs> And about 5% of revenue is generated outside of the U.S. Alright, so it's a speculative group. So as I mentioned to you, this is a disruptive uh, innovation. And uh, their fiscal year is end of the year and they have about 1,427 employees. Hmm. Alright, and uh, into technological sector and software infrastructure. Uh, infrastructure. Although it is payment service, but they are not having a bank, but it is more of an application. Okay. All right. So we want to look a little bit on. All right, guys. Uh, you know, in probably in one of the session, I'll cover the competitors' analysis. All right, in one of the videos. 
for now we move move into key ratios and then we are going into the yeah for key ratio okay so let's look at what's happening here this company look at the revenue here it has been growing i think it's doubling if you can see here it doubled almost doubled yeah we can say it's about 40 to 30 percent now increase and slightly lower and back to and then double and double so it is consistently going so where you can see you can see this gross margin here look at the gross margin look at how much and and the number is increasing so it will grow up however EPS has been negative. There's no earning. Uh, it it has slightly started having earning. Perhaps, yep, we can look into that. So they started having some income for sales. Place. <coughs> so they have a book value. It's not very much, but yeah, they do have a book value. And uh, for other information, we want to look, look at their free cash flow. So they have a lot of free cash flows. Okay. And what other information we want to look? We are going to look at return on equity. It's 24.85. That's almost 25. Great. Mm -hmm. What other information? Let's look at their growth. There's no growth, as I mentioned to you. It's an empty company. And let's look at their debt. Yeah, they have been borrowing quite a lot. So it's a high leveraging. So these are the information we are looking for from the financial fund now. I think you can, if you are an accountant or financial person, then you can relate this information in detail. So their shares has been increasing rapidly. People are buying over. Therefore, their EPS is also increasing. Okay, then I'm going back to valuation. So here, it's opening. Please bear with me. <coughs> Right. So their price over over sales. If you want to see their price over sales, you see here from the ten years trailing record, past five years, six years, the sale taking place. So now you see where they are getting their income. As you saw that it has been negative and past few years it has started becoming positive. So yes, and then earnings, no earnings. Last since last year we have started having earnings. So and this company, I believe we didn't look this well. This company provide dividend? No, they do not provide dividend. No dividends. By the company, okay, so there's no dividend yield as well, right? So that's all we want to know about financial part of it, okay? And now I want to see graph annual report. You can click. In annual report, so need to struggle to remember what to see in. You see in that, 
So you can go to SEC and then open from SEC. Okay. Or we can just go straight to Square website. So when Square is see squareout.com. So they have their own investors correlation. So I want to open this as well and then go in there. So if you can't find, you do not know where to locate in their website, then you can just click any of the links. So I would suggest go to SEC and open. So, you know, you can just go to SEC report. Or you can just go to this link, sec.gov, right? Let's go into the other right, so this is square and yeah look at this an increase of 5.78 and the data here is about 20 minutes to make that's what they're trying to mention here and this is as of yesterday okay so we can see a little bit about you know what we saw in the uh, morning star in the cash app so this is thank you means it's quarterly since we are already in august so the quarter two filing should have been out so that's why it's thank you but what we are looking at is the annual report right <coughs> and we have whatever special events that they want to inform the users so i want to see the investors presentation i also want to look at the market opportunity that they have identified and then let's you know we have just went to events and then the presentation so i've opened some of it So you can click here there are many avenues so i will show you where to click so you see under financial usually if uh, investors relation page they will have a menu called financial under financial you can just click on the, uh, either sec filing or annual result so i would click on sec filing <coughs> here I would like to go for various June. Usually the annual report would be released somewhere by March. Uh, sometime uh, February, March. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and open separately. So yep, we have the annual report. This is the SEC. So if you go to sec.gov, Security and Exchange Commission, then you can also find the document there, but in the annual report, you will have the same document. Uh -huh. So this, remember the annual report, this uh, way of annual report, you can only find it in their own page, Investors Relation, because this is their uh, magazine, like, you know. Um, which they make the annual report in a way. Right. And uh, what other thing? You have opened the several document. Yeah. Right. Okay. So without further ado, let's let's explore and see what we get in terms of the economic strength of a company and uh, the The risk of the company, right? We want to know what. Okay, so usually, if it is Tom 10k, there's a set of table of content, and it's the same for all companies. 
all we want to look at is the item 1A and 1B. And, uh, yeah, the rest is not. If you want to read further, understand what the company is doing in and out, you can go through, but this is about 147 pages. As it is, annual report of 2020. How do I know it's annual report of 2020? So you can check on the uh, date. Here you are. Fiscal year 2020. Okay, let's move down. Okay, we are, I'm going to enlarge a little bit so that it's visible for your end. Let's look at what the company does. Okay, as we see, the company has been formed in February 2009. So they accept card payment. <coughs> it's basically a tool to accept card payment. Pollution, so innovation to help sellers. Okay. So it's more of an EP. So they have more than, if you see here, like more than 30. Do you see here? Do you know what does this mean? This means that they have intangible assets. Okay, cash app, right? In a, a parallel ecosystem of financial service to help individual manage their money. So this is a very good uh, statement, okay? This is an advantage for them. But um, how is it an advantage is something that we would um, check later as we read about the company. So uh, guys, whichever that I'm highlighting, you can choose to take note or put it into another report format because if you go to my Facebook page, I'll give you a very high level report stating what it is. So you will understand or you will be able to relate how am I saying a yes? Or how am I saying that they have intangible asset and what basis did I uh, conclude that? So they have two, one for the sellers and they have cash app. These are the two areas they are focused on. Sellers ecosystem and cash app. So this is this speak in detail about their, um, their sellers. Uh, so, you know, it's nice to read about their product because you will eventually get to know what they are doing. So let's see what it is. Square offers a positive commerce ecosystem that helps sellers start or on grow their business. We combine software, hardware, financial services, and quality fast service. So we can see differentiate Square in a fragment industry. Traditionally, for sellers to Together product and services to my customer. More often than that, so they are giving a unique uh, service to the, to the uh, sellers. So, so look at this. This is showing that they are able to change or undercut. I don't know if they can undercut competitor, but they are sustain they are not only sustaining but they are growing very, very um, vigorously or you know look at look at it. You know, look at look at how much you know they are. Move 
billion cards. So let's look at Cash App for us ecosystem financial service to help individual manage their money. So they are not only covering small or businesses, but they are covering personal people as well. So what they do, we can we already uh, we can visualize it here. You can see it here. So this perhaps is the cash app, and this is the uh, business because you can see it. There's CRM. You know they are covering quite a lot. The management, development, banking, payroll. This looks like a small ERP enterprises of planning solution. You know to to cover for small because. SAP and uh, uh, be it Oracle, Salesforce, Salesforce is a CRM solution, and, uh, and the ERP solution is like Eric, SAP, Oracle, and Microsoft. They are expensive, you know, and for a small retailer or small business uh, person out there, it is too expensive. It is not economical for them to purchase uh, such a huge enterprise resource and solutions. So small solutions like this covering literally the main area. This is covering the payroll, this is the finance as well, you know, and then uh, as well as the uh, payments. And then they are managing the customers, CRM is there. This is the banking, this is for developers, and this is for their, you know, we can say HR, the management, communication, infra, and this is for their product. So, you see, it covers quite a lot. That's impressive. I want to understand more what they can do here. But we will know it, we will know it in detail as we go on. Right? Let's look at what else. Reward. So you see, these are some things that makes it uh, makes the customer difficult to switch. And once you start seeing a lot of reward, you want to enjoy and get more reward. You know, it's especially during this time. You see, they are they are being empathetic. So they 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 do consider the customer need. So I would say these are some points to showing that you know, it it is difficult. They are making it difficult. For someone to, to switch for lesser switching costs. I don't say they can't switch. You can have multiple, but you do not want to lose. So they even provide loan facilities. To, so look at this. This explains. That their product is covering a wide range. They are covering a wide range. So I would say that this explains that their services is increasing they are creating a strong network uh, between them and their customers so let's look at our customers here 
try this one. So, is that what technology is now? They have it. They have ascended into. So this shows that they have network strength. Yeah, they have network strength. They have the network strength. And let's go a little detail. Okay, this is showing on the main. Let's go to Carlos Mendes. Documents, the cash app. Okay, so they have uh, cash app and then um, you know, you look at this uh, level of. Fish to show that you know, they have built a wide range of networks. Now, be it around US, but that's their business. Their business is coming around the United States and this is a very good. The ecosystem cover. You know, that, that, that shows that they, uh, they are creating an advantage in terms of cost for them. This is customer relation. Uh, this is the, the management of that customer relationship management. Square online is the communication, so as well as Insta and Facebook, you know, you know they, they are integrated uh, widely. They have an ecosystem. Which makes them um see here. Yeah, which gives them the control or which gives them the um advantage in terms of cost. You don't need to separately go and find for a marketing tool. Don't need to go separately find for a payroll. You can just use the same tool. So the issue in some transfer, the issue square card, uh, more of a um, prepaid debit card. So I would say this is an important information. For for me to to understand their product and how are they um, what we call that holding or how are they making making their customer loyal. So they give what a business need is already there in an application. So they didn't need to go and find another solution out there. They just need to speak why it is approved because this is what people are looking for, a cheaper solution. The 
look at this. They can also invest their fund. Invest the spread. You know, this is what makes it uh, even more difficult. Even tax preparation, filing their taxes. They are covering a whole ecosystem. So, yeah, this is really good. This is really, really good. Okay, this is really good. Literally covering a lot of What I'm doing, I'm just copying these points because it's not the most important. So let's look at their development, right? And we look at their competitors. So yes, I see that there are many individual retailers out there as well as enterprise retailers. So that provides all in my station. But yes, it's catering for the smaller business and the cheaper stuff. So, yeah, they have about 5,500 full-time employees. So, this shows that they, um, they are having a good relationship with their employees. They build them, they train them. So they have IP, obviously, it's a software tool. So, yeah, I think they have patents as well. So, these are some of the trademarks that they have. So, I can actually copy all these. And, and Weebly and so on, right? So let's look a little bit on their risk aspect. How are they doing in terms of uh, risk? Are they managing it well? You know, when you are doing some financial and so on, you are bound by the regulatory. Yes, there's various law and regulation covering the payment industry, not only in the US but globally. Okay, because we involve with data as well, so GDPR is another area that uh, will be governing in terms of protecting the users' uh, information. They have spelled out what are the regulations that they are finding or you know, they have to comply with. Okay, and this is a little bit on their corporate information, like you know, what's their company, what's their name and so on. Okay, we can move. Alright, we're moving to the risk factor. You see, 
we are covering only the first 20 or 10 to 20 pages for now. So let's read the detail. Yeah, quite a lot of grace, and yeah, and they're going to have to comply because they're also more big talk and so on. You know, uh, right for risk, I'm going to just quickly search for inflation. I want to see how is the inflation. Are they affected by inflation? Our regulation, we saw that uh, there are not much uh, people risk. We, 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 remember, they are well uh, taking care of their employees. And, um, privacy. Any risk on the employee? They're being considerate uh, because of the pandemic. Right, and then what other things we want? I wanted to see if they have listed. Yes. Uh, they do have uh, research so do they where, where is the there's no R&D let's look at the um, so there is R&D here and they have been spending quite high and it has reduced now. Perhaps we have to check what's their growth plan or perhaps they have matured product in their hand before they go to market for so the research was done prior to that. Okay. There will be. All right. Here. Yes, they were here. Right, that's for the research. We saw that the um, yeah, inflation of much information. We saw that they have a lower risk in terms of people, and then they have R and D. The R and D cost has been reducing. No, is that the ex the spend on R and D has been reducing. One, it could be because uh, their product method now is more of maintaining updates and then enhancing. So it does not require cash as much as in the past. So we can check on their growth plan if they have any future uh, plans that they want to bring up. So then the R&D may increase again. Um, then we look at... Um, Regulatory, yeah, they have a lot of regulation to comply with because they have extensive financial stock, employment data, tax, and so on. You know. So they are, they had to comply a lot of regulation. And then when we look at intangible assets, yes, they have a wide range of intangible assets, their patents. So they have about 30 over distinct products and uh, they have their trademarks as well and they have a strong brand recognition out there. Okay. In terms of cost advantage, yes, Square has a cost advantage. How do I say that? It's because 
as I mentioned earlier, they have 30 over distinct software, hardware, financial service products, giving it combining trade, transaction, subscription, service, and everything together. And you know, uh, uh, it's this is where they beat perhaps their competitors because they give end to end product from payroll, from customer management, product management. Uh, communications and so on just now that but whatever we have uh, song so that would give them an advantage to undercut competitors yes they have a switching cost you know uh, look at the uh, the rebates that they are giving the the benefits the the, uh, the pre stuffs and uh, the extent of the, the service to be used out there is huge so they have connected meaning to say they have built a network out there with so many retailers businesses like 80,000 small businesses they even provide loans and so on you know two billion card payments already out there meaning to say there are two billion users out there so, yes, this shows that they have a switching cost, they have a network effect as well. And uh, yes, I guess uh, that covers their economic study. So, hope if you have more information that I have missed, if you have something to add on, and if you are a uh, Squares employee or you have been using Square and you know more, you can feel free to comment because it will be helpful for other investors out there to understand this company. With that, thank you and see you.